Hello everyone, I'm JG. Welcome back to Music Forever. Where today we're going to be reviewing the new album from Vince Staples, Big Fish Theory. Now I'm a fairly new Vince Staples fan. I only discovered the guy from the track Ascension from the new Gorillaz album, Humans. He was featured on that track and I happened to really like it. I uh, heard good things about Vince Staples before hearing that song, but I actually never got around to really checking out his discography or anything like that. But when I heard that song, I really liked this part to the track, I decided uh, I should definitely check out his works in a bit more detail. And then I heard he was coming out with a new album later on this year, and I decided it was a perfect time to go back and listen to some of his older stuff, as well as this new project when it dropped, which of course I did, and here we are today to review it. And overall, when listening to this new project all the way through, uh, after multiple listens, I have mixed feelings about the project as a whole. Overall, I have to say that I enjoy this project, I like it, but I do think there are some uh, big problems with this project that I'm going to go into a bit more detail later on, but I want to start by talking about some of the things I really enjoyed from this project. And one of the things that really stands out to me happened to be the beat selections here on this project. Uh, Vince is going for a more electronic sound with the beats here, and I think it really works well. Some of the tracks have uh, you know, just these really good uh, electronic beats that he's doing a pretty good job rapping over, to be honest. I like the track uh, Big Fish, I like the, the beat on that track especially, really. Um, I, I like the bass, how it's just booming on that track. It's just, um, if you like a uh, nice loud bass in your uh, beats, this is definitely an album that you need to check out because it delivers in that uh, department. For the most part, these more electronic, experimental beats are very consistent throughout the album, and they just sound nice all the way through. I enjoy the beats here a lot. My problems with the album start to come with some other um, areas on the project, most notably the fact that I just feel like Vince Staples doesn't really seem to have that much of a big role on his own album here. This uh, album is only a little over 30 minutes long, which is a short project, and as it is, there's a lot of guest features here that take up lots of time on the project. I just don't feel like Vince is present all that much here on the album. Just take the track Love Can Be for example. While the track itself isn't that bad in my opinion, I actually think I enjoyed the track as a whole. And it also features Damon Alborn who is, you know, the person behind the musical aspect of Gorillaz, the group I was talking about earlier. And it's kind of funny how on um, the track that Vince Staples appeared on the Gorillaz project, Ascension, I feel like he kind of dominated that track and Gorillaz was kind of more of a smaller part there on that track. Whereas here, I feel like the guest features, not just Damon Alborn, but all the other featured artists on this track kind of dominate the track along with the beat and I just feel like Vince Staples kind of has a smaller part there and you know while I do enjoy the track it's just kind of like you know I came here for Vince Staples and I really don't feel like I'm getting that here on this album. This is a shame because a lot of the parts where Vince decides to appear and is rapping are some of the best moments on the album along with the production. Take the opening track Crabs in a Bucket which is one of my favorite ones here on the album. I really like the metaphor that he's going for with the whole crabs in the bucket and just how that reflects society today. I think he does a great job there, and I wish he was kind of, you know, firing on all cylinders like he is on this track throughout a lot of the other tracks here, but I just feel like a lot of the other tracks require the beat to kind of become a bit better, or he has to have guest features on the track just to kind of, I don't know, add some personality to the track, or at least attempt to, because honestly, I feel like the l lack of his own presence just, you know, kind of dilutes the album as a whole and just doesn't make it seem all that much like a Vince Staples project. It feels, at times, more like a compilation album that just so happens to feature Vince Staples a lot of the time. And I definitely know that there are some tracks on this project that solely feature Vince Staples, but some of these tracks happen to be the less interesting ones in the track listing. Uh, take for example the track 745, which honestly just doesn't stand out to me at all in any really interesting way, or a track like, uh, later on the track listing, you get tracks like Homage or Samo, Party People, and I, I believe some of those did have guest features on them, but these tracks as a whole just didn't really interest me all that much. And, you know, especially when they're paired right next to each other, it just doesn't make for a very interesting listen. And considering that this album is only, like I said, a little over 30 minutes long, it just doesn't really hold my interest for that time. And if it's a short album, I kind of expect it to hold my interest the entire way through. There's no excuse that it's too long or that there's filler. There shouldn't be filler on a, like a 35 minute long album. There's even a couple of tracks that I just feel are pointless to have at all on this album. Take the Alyssa interlude, for example, which just has an Amy Winehouse sample at the beginning, which really doesn't add to the album in any way. I mean, I understand that she's, you know, a big person in music, but, like, I don't understand how it connects to the whole album as a whole or anything like that. It could easily have just been left all out of the album and it would have been fine. And the second half of that uh, track has Vince kind of singing, and it's not the most interesting thing in the world, honestly, I could have done without it. And then there's the track, Remoter Park is Yankee Stadium, which isn't really a song, it's kind of like an interlude 
uh, and it's only a few seconds long, honestly, close to a minute, but once again, it really doesn't serve much of a purpose in the track listing, and it could easily have just been cut out. Towards the middle of the album, we get another really good track, though. Yeah, right, and this one features Kendrick Lamar, who, of course, I really liked, and hearing the two of uh, Vince Staples and Kendrick Lamar on one track is great. They both do a great job with their verses, and the beat on this track is also great. I like the bass here as well. It's overall just a very solid track on this album. It's one that you need to check out. The second track on the album, Big Fish, is another one that I enjoy. I just don't like the, how repetitive the hook is, and I feel like it comes up a lot in the track itself. I just could have preferred a shorter hook to the track, because honestly, I like a lot of the rest of it. I like uh, Vince's rapping, his lyrics are great, and the beat, as I mentioned earlier, is just booming here. It's pretty good. I also like the other single from the album, Bag Back, which also has a great beat to it. And then the closing track, Rain Come Down, is one that I have mixed feelings on as well. I really like the beat of this track. I like how it kind of has this mysterious, sort of dark, ominous feel to it. But, you know, everything else about the track, I could really care less about. The hook that has the kind of auto-tune singing, once again, is really repetitive, kind of like Big Fish, but not quite as repetitive. Uh, no, rather, it's more repetitive than Big Fish, honestly. And it just, I just feel like it's repeated a lot more throughout this track, which is one of the longest ones in the track listing, almost reaching five minutes in length. Uh, Vince's verses, lyrically, they're fine. Uh, the delivery is fine. They're pretty solid all the way through. It's just he repeats a verse at one point, which, you know, like I kind of mentioned earlier, I feel like he, he kind of has a very small presence on this album, and him just repeating a verse really doesn't help that point that some of the time he spends on this project is just repeating something that he's already done. It's just kind of pointless, and, you know, there definitely might be a reason for that being repeated verse, but, you know, I really would have preferred something new instead. It would have just really helped his presence here on this track, because overall, with the repetitive hook and the fact that there's a repeated verse, the track just ends up feeling like it's a bit too long for what it should be, you know, doing. And overall, I really like the beat of the track, but everything else I could really take or leave, to be honest. It's probably one of my least favorite tracks overall in the track listing. So overall, my opinion on Big Fish Theory is that it's a good album, it just has some major flaws going through it. Most notably, the, the lack of Vince Staples' presence on his own album, to be honest. I feel like if he had less guest speeches here and decided to do more things himself, have some more verses here and there, and maybe even have a few more songs on the project. I know that's probably a very unusual thing for me to say, considering I tend to like shorter projects than longer ones, but I feel like this is a project that just needs a bit more, you know, substance to it. Now, that's not to say that this album doesn't have good lyrics or uh, good flows and good bars and stuff like that. It does. I just feel like there needs to be more of it here on this project. I don't feel like I'm getting a full album here. I feel like I'm kind of getting cheated in terms of the amount of content that you're getting. And I do understand quality over quantity, but, you know, quality is just average all the way through for the most part, with the exception of a few tracks that I found myself really enjoying, like Yeah Right, that featured Kendrick Lamar, Big Fish, and um, Bag Back, that was another good one. So if you're into more experimental hip-hop, this might be a project that you want to check out because it definitely does fall under that category. And I do see lots of praise going around for this album, so if you're into Vince Staples and you're into experimental hip-hop, this is definitely something that you should be checking out, and you may very well, you may very well actually really like this project, but you know, I just thought it was average overall, to be honest. A bit above average, honestly, though. Because that those beats, the bass in some of these tracks, just the beats overall, are really good. They really kind of pick up the slack where maybe uh, just the vocals aren't quite there. But yeah, hip-hop fans, check it out. Uh, if you don't like Vince Staples or hip-hop at all, this probably isn't an album for you, or it's not an album that's really going to change your mind. But I think that sums up my opinion on this album pretty well. It's a good album, just has some serious flaws going into it, though I do feel like they could be ironed out for future releases, and that kind of leaves me hopeful for the future. And Vince Staples still definitely displays that he's a very talented rapper, a very talented songwriter, and overall has a good uh, taste and beat selection for you know the beats here on his project. Overall, it's a slightly above average album. Thank you for watching this video, and if you enjoyed the review, I greatly appreciate it. If you'd leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, so you don't miss out on future album reviews that we have coming out soon. Uh, also, comment down below your thoughts on this album, because I know my opinion on the album certainly isn't as positive as some other, uh, what I've just been seeing in general around most of the other praise I've been seeing for the album is, of course, praise, very positive. So I just want to see, what are your thoughts on the album? What makes you like this album or not like this album? And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay golden.